Hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin. And as makers, we see a lot of life hacks around making little ways to make your life or DIY journey a little bit easier with soap, salt, rubber band, and a steamer. <laughs> <laughs> Are any of them valid? Oh, oh, my salt. Today, we're gonna be finding out. Oh my. Whoa, it worked! What? Mark a line on it. The heck? Evan just looked up, how many life hacks? Seven. I'll just, I'll just insert a number. This many life hacks. Th they're all ones that we legit think should work. They have a chance. We didn't just want to throw in obvious fails just to laugh at people on the internet because we're people on the internet too. Yeah. You know, we want to give it a legit shot. First hack, can a rubber band save a stripped screw? All right, so I'm about to do something bad, wrong, and painful, but just know that this is more painful for me than it is for you. <laughs> oh. Were you trying to strip it on purpose? Yeah, that's, maybe if I don't fully set it. I, I, I'm too good. I, I did it with too good form. Here, I can do it. <laughs> do you want to explain what this uh, life hack is? It's how to deal with stripped screws. I don't know if it's going to work. All you need is a rubber band. Okay, the secret to stripping, my friends. I know that I've been asked this multiple times. <laughs> go on. You go part way in. Now. Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh, it's truly bad. It's truly bad. So can you just normally, nope, look at this, nothing. Yeah, obviously it does not work. Okay, not so work. here's where the rubber band comes in. Put the rubber band down, supposedly. I don't think this is gonna work. You don't think so? No, do you? Vote in the comments below. Okay. <laughs> or maybe not. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, it looks so easy in the videos. <laughs> you know, maybe you got a little over ambitious with the stripping? Maybe I stripped too good. It, <laughs> there's literally nothing left. Let, let, let's, let's strip it a little bit less. Let's give this, the last shot. Before we call before it a bogus. Before we call it completely busted. Yeah. Halfway strip. Oh, no, no rubber band needed. What do you think, any difference? Nope. Fail. Fail. <laughs> Second hack, will pliers protect your fingers? All right, this next hack, Caitlin, I... is for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's not. Why are you, oh. Supposedly, if you are afraid of hammering nails in, grab pliers. Use those to hold the nail. This is to protect the fingers for to those protect of us fingers. that don't have as much hand-eye coordination. Why are you, oh. I'm not thinking of any particular incident in general. When the thing I was trying to hit was this big. <laughs> See how this works. That is actually great. My hammering skills aren't great. <laughs> See, this is why my thumb can't be there. <laughs> I would say, I would say that this works. Can I try? Yeah, you just want to show off and do it in one hit. No, 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 you can't do this in one hit. <laughs> you know, I think I did better. It works great. <laughs> it works, approved. Third hack, will salt help your glue up? Okay. Should I film this? <laughs> this is part of it. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, Caitlin. Hey, Evan. Have you ever been going to glue two pieces of wood together and they just slip and slide? They, they slip, slip and, and slide. slide. They slip and slide. <laughs> You're trying to align them perfectly. Perfect. Perfect. You go to clamp it and they slip that little bit. The worst. The worst. It's nothing a little bit of salt can't fix. So you have your pieces beautifully glued together. Mmm, looks like a mayonnaise sandwich. Look at that. Slip and slide. Oftentimes the clamping action is the thing that gets them out of line. All right, so the hack, Caitlin. Get salt, just regular old salt. Table salt, right? Like thin stuff. We had yeah. to grind this. Ooh, fancy. Actually, it doesn't need that much salt. Don't, don't over salt it. You don't <laughs> want to over salt your joints. <laughs> but then you slap it together. Mm. We added too much salt. 
<laughs> oh no. Do we have so, to redo it's it so now? It's so salty. It's so salty. Like there's oh, a, a salty sandwich. <laughs> there's a cat. Is our salt too thick? I think our salt's too thick. Da, 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 da. Okay. We've come up with an alternate solution. Our eating out box of shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. But <laughs> Tiny salt packets with Tiny actual salt packets. table salt. Mm -hmm. The correct size salt. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> you know, there's good stuff in there. You can't beat this. And probably we're gonna do less salt too. Less salt. You know we start small. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm there talking about. There we go. Just a light little dusting, so I believe. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. How's it feel? Is it, is it grippy? Is it not sticking at all? This one really seemed like it would be a, I thought like, that this would work. I thought that this would work. Maybe it, we just need to crush it. Maybe the, 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 the salt gets disintegrated. Crush it like? Well, like, like actually clamp it. I was pitching this as if it worked because I thought it might, but like. I thought this one logically would too. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's. It makes sense, it adds grippiness. It honestly seems like it's keeping the glue from bonding. Yeah, there's huge gaps. Huge gaps. This was, this, was, it. this was nice, flat, really good wood. Yeah. It clamps at the point of contact right there. I guess maybe if you crush it all along. Yeah, but no one covers literally the entire project with clamps. I don't know. This whole life hack thing has got me feeling really salty. <laughs> Okay, next. <laughs> Fail! And it, it even, it slipped too. So it didn't even do, it didn't even solve that. <sighs> Life hacks, man. Life hacks, man. Fourth hack, easy magnetic screwdriver. I keep trying to guess to see what this hack is gonna be. Here's my guess. Rub the tip of the screwdriver onto a magnet to get the magnet dust and then it becomes magnetic. <clears throat> Okay, I was, I was wrong. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to screw a screw into something, but you just can't keep it on the tip of your screwdriver? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that worked. Was that not supposed to? Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> well, with this easy hack, <clears throat> that will no longer be a problem. Can you film? Oh yeah. Just attach a magnet to your screwdriver. What? And now, what? it's magnetic. Whoa, it worked! What? Whoa! I didn't think that'd work. Yeah, DIY. Oh, that's, <clears throat> that's awesome. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works in other situations. Wow. Wow, wow. wow. So let's say that you're about to screw. Attach that right there. <gasps> it's magnetic. Oh, that one not as much. That one not as much. Maybe if I move it closer. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. How come more people don't do this already? This is great. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Surprisingly effective. Dang. Magnets, how do they even Magnets, work? Magnets, man. <laughs> Fifth hack, can steam fix your dents? Evan just told me to close my eyes and turn around. So. <laughs> I, got, I gotta get something and then I gotta get it heated up. Oh, did I do this too early? <laughs> Probably. What are you heating up? Hot glue? I don't know. I need to think of other things that would need to be heated. It's gotta be hot glue. First I thought you were gonna microwave something. It's gotta be hot glue. Like we're doing a life hack testing video. It would not be complete without hot glue. <laughs> you hammering something? The heck? Is that? No, 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 no guessing? Oh, you can keep on guessing. Is, is, that, is that a razor? <laughs> is it a personal massager? <laughs> it's not that type of video. Do it again. A toothbrush. Oh, you got it. I did? No. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know why you need to heat up a toothbrush anyway. <laughs> All right, it's been about like, what, five minutes? Mm -hmm. Maybe more. And I think it's time to, time to give up maybe? I think that this is broken. I'm pretty sure it's broken. Can I reveal to you what it is? Yeah. Oh, a steamer. <laughs> I don't even know when that thing saw the light of day. So 
supposedly, if you dent wood, you can bring it back. Oh, with, with, oh, with, with, with steam, <laughs> heat and steam. <laughs> you, you made me literally jump out of my shoe. I jumped okay, out of my it's shoe. going, I can't stop now, just in case okay. it doesn't. So, so, so there's, there's dents from when I hammered earlier, right? Hammer it, yeah. Like, oh, wow, oh. I'm so clumsy. Look at these big dents in yeah. the wood. And so you can bring it out with steam? I think. Do you have to like massage it? Just get it wet and hot. And um, there it is, former glory. All right, let's cool this puppy down and let's see if it works. Wait. It's kind of hard to tell on camera. Do you feel any dents? I don't really see any. I think that they popped back a decent amount. Are they gone? I'm not sure. But have they popped out a lot? Yeah. Can we do it one more time? Just, I want to get a really good before shot. Yeah. Cause you kind of just started, I mean, it just started going. <laughs> it started going, okay. okay. Here's the before. And I'm gonna do multiple things. Watch okay. this. Boom, boom, boom. The side, that's a, uh, Damaging blow right there. Do some, oh, those are Oh, those deep. are good. We have a good before. I just love how we, we, we gave up and that's when it started working. I know. Are you a cat? <laughs> that's some cat energy. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get the sides first. Yeah, the sides are gonna be the hardest. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? I guess the moisture kind of plumps it up. Dang. Wow. Is it still damaged? Yes. But not like it was. Let's, move to, the the, let's move to the big dents and the little dents. Mm, it's kind of like a spa too. I feel like I'm at a spa. Oh, it's kind of nice. I think the deep gouges it didn't fix them fully, but the shallow ones are definitely better. Yeah. But you know, I would, I would say, if you have a dent in your wood, do it. It's gonna it's, make it better. It's gonna make it better. Plausible. Plausible, I didn't know if we were going for a high five or a handshake. <laughs> Before I get to our next life hack, I have a question. Are you tired of wired headphones ruining your project? Ruining your phone? Oh, shoot. And destroying your sanity? <laughs> well, luckily our sponsor Raycon delivers a solution with their everyday E25 earbuds. They're great if you're working from home, working out, or listening to music. <laughs> but seriously, we both love our Raycons. The carrying case is super small and tiny and it can charge the earbuds four times on a single charge. And they come in a whole bunch of different colors. We both chose gold, so we also labeled them with a little E and K label maker so we don't end up exchanging earwax. And Raycon earbuds already start at about half the price of other premium earbuds and sound just as awesome, but right now you can go to buyraycon.com slash Evan and Caitlin for 15% off. Thanks Raycon. Sixth hack, can you lube a screw with soap? Okay, so what do we have? This time. When you have a little short screw, it's pretty easy to drive it into a piece of wood. But what if you have a longer, larger screw? You know, there's a lot of friction that occurs when you're trying to drive it in. I hear it. Well, Kaylin, I got to come clean with you. There's a secret that you can use. <gasps> Is that a chunk of soap? It's a chunk of soap. That's some of my melting soap. <laughs> the only soap I could find. <laughs> you take some soap, you rub it on the screw, then you drive it in. That decreases the friction of You'll, the situation. You lube it up. Oh, oh no, too much, <laughs> too much. All right, let me try that again. <laughs> How'd it feel? Did it make any difference? It looked cool. I think that I just, yeah, look at that. I stripped the hole, it's too. You, 
The screw is stripped? Oh, the, the hole is stripped. The hole is stripped. So it just forced it in there. Instead of the threads biting, it just forced it down. It just like drilled a hole? It... What? I thought this one was clever. Yeah. I've heard before that like, you can use beeswax to reduce like friction if you're drilling into really hard wood. Maybe it's too much? Maybe it's too much? Let's try it, let's try it one more time. Let's give it one more shot. <laughs> come out, come out! Is this a life hack? <laughs> okay, ah! okay. Was that necessary? Oh my <gasps> gosh! It broke? Wait, so maybe you didn't strip it. Maybe it's just because it, what? Why? So the first portion of this took off all the beeswax and by the time it got all the way down, it was clean. The bottom one gripped and the top slipped. And oh, it just, the uh, bottom didn't have any left. Yeah. Only the, the top had it, so they were turning at different speeds. Yeah. Should we try it one more time? See if we can either duplicate it or get it to work? We have plenty of screws. We have a small thing right. of soap that I can't use for anything else. Less. Less. Right. Oh. I think I was just like going a little bit over ambitious because I wanted to like show. Okay. okay. Light, light. Okay, but let's see if the same thing happens. Can you pull it out? I didn't feel anything bad. Okay, so you, you can do it without it breaking, but was doing that any easier than just drilling it in normally? Like, is it worth the mess? Maybe with harder woods, it might be different. Yeah, but who's got like four by four thick walnut? That's, that's not super common. I'll just probably recommend pre-drilling. That's a real life hack. That's it's not a, even a life hack, yeah. it's just a best practice. Just, just, just drill a smaller diameter first and then drive in the screw. That's better than soap. <laughs> I kind of give it a... A womp womp. Womp womp, yeah. Seven pack. A trick for drilling straight down. Hey, uh, Caitlin. Uh, hey, Evan. Have you ever been wanting to drill a hole? And it's just hard to know how to drill exactly up and down. Literally every time. Literally could, every time. You could get one of those very fancy metal guide blocks and they work really great. Yeah. But these are expensive. What if you just had a scrap piece of wood? Nice Right scrap. angles, everything parallel. You just gotta double check it. Look at that. That's a good great scrap. Good piece of wood. Mark a line on it. And now you set it down on the block you wanna drill. And look at that. This block right here guides you this way. Do you, do you clamp it down? And this one right here guides you that way. What if you need two hands to drill down? Okay, just go ahead. <laughs> this hack's not meant for me, like I thought it was. You clamp it down. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, should I try it? Go for it. This, this is, is like a struggle constantly. Caitlin's biggest struggle as a maker. Yeah, well, you know, I still blame you because you made all the workbenches too high for me. And I can't, you know, I can't like get above it enough to see. Can you see the line? Are you getting, you're getting me the booster? <laughs> oh, perfect! Should I do a normal one first? Okay, I'm gonna do what I think is straight from the same angle. <laughs> Was I straight? <laughs> it looks straight to me. It was at like a 15, 20 degree angle. <laughs> no, like, let's look at the footage. Let's look at the footage. Start off pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> well this will be a great test then. Yeah, yeah. This will be a so, great so test. So use, use this right there. I'll use the line. Yeah, use the line, Caitlin. I'm gonna put it kind of slightly to the side of it so I don't block it. Press against the line, press against the line. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, there you go! Was it straighter? I'd say it's within like a degree or two. That's a lot better than 15. Okay, I would say that life hack is great. I had a lot more assurity drilling into that. So here is attempt two. Quite good. Attempt one. It's different. <laughs> so it's unique. <laughs> well, so hey. I, I feel like this is, I gave it a pass. I think it's a great hack if you want to make your own right angle. This was genuinely surprising. Many of these I thought would work and they didn't. Some that I thought wouldn't work 
did work. All right, so Caitlin, what was your favorite? Removing dents with heat, nail and pliers, drilling straight down, <laughs> salt on wood, soap on wood, rubber band over strip screw or a magnet. Magnets! Magnets! This is the winner, this is the winner of this DIY challenge. But I will say, my second choice is the drilling straight down. What was the biggest letdown for you? Biggest letdown, salt. Salt from I'm still too. salty. I'm <laughs> <laughs> this poor piece of wood, we've been using it all day. I think it's about time to give it a rest. F's in the <laughs> chat, <laughs> <laughs> wood. Until next time on Evan and Caitlin Test Life Hacks. If you have any suggestions for life hacks you want us to test, leave them in the comments below. Tag us on Instagram or wherever you do the, the things. And if you want to see us do non-maker related stuff, we also have a gaming channel, Evan and Caitlin Gaming, and we post a couple times a week. See you next time, bye. Bye. I thought that was pretty good. That was great. You just flowed right into that. Yeah. Rest in peace, piece of wood. You're full dun, dun, dun. of holes and soap, but not salt. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. Jeff the tree's Lex. falling like a tree. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Before we start getting too excited, I feel like we need to learn the basics of crafting. In so this game. E, you pick it up and then G drops it. But wait, I feel like I feel like you're getting ahead of me. We don't know how to craft anything yet. No, not at all. Kayla, look. There's a zone. There's a there's a village. Well, don't go to it yet. There's wait. cannibals in there, probably. Just, yeah, I know. Don't go to it yet. I just want to find out how to craft things. Oh my gosh, there's a dead person on the skull here. <gasps> oh, a skull. Okay, can you pause? <laughs>